Uh, oh Rob, congratulations, uh, great win. Yeah, it's uh, it's sometimes the, the the way you want to win a game of football, especially such an important game. Uh, we've had a few results over the last month, 7-0, 4-0, but sometimes it's that 2-1, grind out three points, uh, battle for it, and it's, it's it can mean a lot more than a 4-0, something like that. So yeah, we're all delighted. You got the first one yourself, very cool finish, I thought. Yeah, I've just been speaking to, to Pabs about it. I think it's an easier goal than what it looks. I'd have been disappointed if I didn't score it, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I, w I was thinking about lashing it, and then I, when I got there, I thought I'll just place it in. And you know, I suppose it could have gone horribly wrong on a pitch like this as well. But I was, uh, I got it right in it, one for the win. Two 0 up when I think Pablo got on the end. There was no one because he was very under a mound of bodies. But I think it was Pablo who got the second. And uh, at that point, you looked relatively comfortable. I thought. Yeah, we were in control. Um, I think their their subs were good subs. We got some good players to bring on. To be fair, good effective players. We started to drop a little deeper. Then they get the the lucky ricochet, which sets them up for their goal. And you know. That's, that's, that can change games so easily, how much a goal can change a game. It gives you an extra yard if you score it, it takes a yard off your pace if you don't score it. So, uh, so uh, yeah, we were we, we stuck in there. We've done it a few times this season, away at Lye and teams like that. And, uh, you know, I think uh, I think over the course of the 90 minutes and the way we defend, I think we do actually deserve three points. The penalty, I must admit, I thought it was one. First, my first thought was he's pulled him there. I saw the linesman shake and then I said to some, as I said, I think he's done enough to, to, make, to let him go down. Um, so I think it probably was a penalty. They've had a lot of penalties recently, and if they'd have scored all of their penalties, then you know it'd be a totally different look on the table. But uh, horses, horses made himself big. It's a poor penalty, to be fair, very poor penalty. And luckily, it's come off horse's legs and bounced away to safety. You mentioned you know goals give teams a lift. That gave you a lift. I thought that whole Harris side had a lift from that. Yeah, you know, it just kind of it gave us that onus. You know, it, like I say, it deflates people. Uh, you didn't see that after that. Um, and he was a handful all game, and then as soon as he misses a penalty, that puts him down a little bit. So, uh, so that was the it was a big turning point for us, I think, because we we relieved a bit of pressure after that. It's been a relentless run of games, and it shows no signs of easing. Other, well, you know that better than me. I've just said to Green, so we've got another game in less than two days. Um, but you know, when you're on form, you want those games to come thick and fast. That's I think that's 11 on the bounce now since we last lost. Uh, 11 wins in a row. So you know, bring it on at the moment. We're going to be. Uh, uh, we need to start better than what we did last Saturday against Dunkirk. But I think if we do, it'll be a little bit easier for us being at home. We haven't got the travelling as much. And, uh, you know, being said after the game, tonight means nothing if we don't go and do it on Saturday. And we're all just looking forward to Saturday's game now. You know, we're on such a good roll. The lads are so together. Uh, we've got a great team spirit about us, and we're just looking forward to it. If you were summing up the last week, um, if I'm summing up, you correct me if I'm wrong, got out of jail at Dunkirk, big time, uh, then played very well in the second half of Denver Walsall, would deserve that one, and ground out a very good win here tonight. Yeah, you know, three totally different performances really, poor one on Saturday, uh, that was after a great performance at Long Eaton. Um, Good second half, good probably 60 minutes against Warsaw Wood, against I think a good Warsaw Wood team. And then today it's a totally different game. We've ground one out, we defended well, which we didn't do against Dunkirk. And uh, you know, you need to have those three things to your game if you're going to win the league. And it's games like tonight that win you the league. It's not the 4 0s, not the 7 0s, it's games like tonight that win you the league. And how have you found this level? Obviously, you played far higher in your career, but how have you found this? Um, it took me a while to adjust before I got injured after uh, at the Westwoods game. Couldn't get used to it, and spoke to Birchie and people like that. Who's Birchie's obviously been at West Brom, and he he found the, he found the same. But I've settled into it now. Um, I feel a lot fitter. I missed a lot of last season, and that told at the start of the season. And I think being around this group of players, I mean, I know it's I know it's at a standard where a lot of these players can play higher, but. I haven't played in a team like this for a long time. All on the same page, great footballing brains. That's credit to Beads. You know, people say about the money and we're a big club and everything, but you've got to get the right manager, bring in the right players, and we've done that. That's why we're top of the league now. And uh, I'm just enjoying it. You know, I'm, co I'm, I'm confident. I feel like I'm not going to have a particularly bad game anymore and everything, you know. I'm enjoying it. I love playing with these lads, and I'm just looking forward to the next seven games in the league. What a night. Thanks for your time. Brilliant, thanks.